Hey fellow world dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and coming back with another video related to preparation for double experience weekend. And in this video we'll be talking how to farm bubbleheads and magazines that are very important to maximize your gain during double experience weekend. And as far as normally I do not use bubbleheads and magazines to farm experience, I save them for the double experience weekend because it's truly worth it. And yes, you can farm this stuff. It's not as hard as you may think if you never tried, but I will let you know everything. And as you can see, I have a lot of this stuff on my guy. I was farming a little bit those bubble heads and magazines and I have some selection. And by the way, oh, this actually someone dropped me then. That's why it's 20 in here. I didn't farm 20. I did found some, but not 20. And how I have it nicely sorted under my aid, that's because uh, they changed them a while ago from being heavy to being very light. Like they all weight now 0.01 pound. Therefore, if you sort by weight, they all on the bottom of the list. What makes it much easier to figure out what you already have collected. And now into the farming. I will have a map for you with all the possible spawns of the bubble heads and magazines marked. Then it will help a lot and it will be as always in the video pinned comment. Then what I recommend to do, take the map, open it on your phone and this will help you a lot during the game when you'll be farming. And now what's important? The two most important perks. Panapictographist and Perceptibobble. Those are truly underrated perks that for me have way more value than a lot of other perks I can have under perception. Of course, you don't need them all the time, you, whatever you're doing in the game, but definitely you need them when you go for a dedicated run to find your bubble heads and magazines. Additionally, what you need to know uh, to make best use of this perk, go to your settings, go to your audio settings, and now make sure that your effects are boosted quite high, footsteps are relatively low as you don't want to distract yourself with your own footsteps while listening for a very specific sound that will show you in a second. And or other sounds that can distract you like voice of the NPC, the music in the background, I recommend to just switch it off as those are just the distractions. You don't really need it on this run. I keep chat up because if someone will talk to me, then I can hear them. Then this can be up. That's not a problem. And master, yeah, it's always should be up if you want to hear anything. And now by a quick look on the map, you can probably figure out that in here, it's like the highest concentration of magazines like anywhere on the map this area have a highest concentration of the magazines then it's a good shot to go there but there's a lot of areas i will show you where i'm going and how i'm choosing those areas but first let me find magazine or the bubble head and present the sound for you okay now i found something and i will let you listen to the sound oh the important note in here uh, whenever you go on this hunt you will need to use headphones, that's a huge help. Or if not headphones, then hopefully you have good audio system. A stereo sound or spatial sound is helpful. It's a lot of help. But now I will for a moment stop talking. I will walk a little bit around and I will show you how this audio location, this echolocation working. And as you can see, the closer you are to the target, the louder the sound is gonna be. And as well, uh, you will be able to hear from which direction the sound's coming if you have your headphones. And this time we found Live and Love number two. 
Here we go. Nuke the man. That's the magazine. $39 of value. That's quite an expensive magazine, I need to say. Now, what else I recommend to do? Uh, when you are on the hunt for those magazines and bobbleheads, pick them all up. I do not recommend saving them and running the location and only looking for a specific ones. Uh, it's like not really worth it. What it's worth doing whenever you are looting for those magazines, just pick up something from containers or pick up some random loose junk that's lying around. You don't need to pick up everything. Uh, whenever you are looking for the magazine, pick up some stuff. Therefore, if you continue doing like that, and when you will be going over the map, picking up magazines, bobbleheads, and some random junk, uh, you will reset your list of 255 tracked items. Therefore, after hopping a server or going back to the same location later on on the new server, you will be able to spawn them again. And what you should know about spawns of the bobbleheads and the magazines, I will give you some very important pointers in here. They have 20% spawn chance. And that's meant that one in five spots will have something. But you need to remember that if there is a nice traffic in the area, like let's say Pleasant Valley Sky Resort and a lot of players is walking by, but not picking up bobbleheads and magazines, they as well have a chance to spawn those magazines or bubbleheads every 10 minutes. Therefore, adventure servers are usually better for farming magazines and bubbleheads than private server. Because on the private server, you are the only person that can spawn this stuff. Therefore, it's better on adventure from my experience. Uh, some areas have almost every spot filled with the magazine or bubblehead. As you will see on the map, those dots are the possible spawns, but it depends how many people went through and what was your luck. The important part is, whoever spawns the magazine, you can see it and you can pick it up. If you want to know more about spawns of items in the game and how this stuff works, I have dedicated video fully explaining this stuff, then feel free to search YouTube and you will find more info about spawns and respawns for items and enemies in this game. Now, what is the route I like to take? Usually I like to go to Sunnytop Skylines, then towards Sons of Dane compound, uh, check the Sons logging camp, then I like to go and check Dolly Sats Wilderness, uh, there is not too many spawns there, but there is relatively high traffic because people are doing the daily for possum badges in this area. Then I like to go to the North Castro camp. Then from there, I'm going to Pleasant Valley cabins and I'm going down to the South Cutthroat camp. Then from there, I like to jump to safe and clean disposal and run this way, checking more to the White Spring Golf Club. And Wild Swim Golf Club is a tricky one because there is high traffic, but in the same time, most people know the spawns for magazines and bobbleheads. Therefore, they will pick it up. Then if server is relatively fresh, there is a good chance to find couple. If server is older, most likely people already pick them up. But after that, I like to go and visit as well the spots where people go to farm experience, like Hunter's Vile jump to US 13C and then go to National Isolated Radio Array because there is high traffic and usually people going after those super mutants not looking for magazines and bobbleheads and quite often they nicely hidden and this perk will help you out because your first run I bet will be rather slow as some of those magazines are really well hidden and it will take you a little bit to figure out where those are, even when you can hear the sound. But after a couple times, you will be able to tell when those actually are. And if I see that place like in here with couple camps around, then I will go as well to Overlook Cabin, Horn Night Summer Villa, and from over there to Torrance House, the Kill Box, and run towards Hammer's Wild Dogs. As there is couple nice possible spawns 
but not worth to go here if there is not a single player around. If you are the only one person spawning, then yeah, that's a mixed result. But if you see there are camps nearby, then most likely some far, someone was walking there before you and hopefully was not picking up anything. Then there is of course way more spots that's what I like to do, but you can find different ones. I have a lot of fun looking, searching for new spots with magazines and bobbleheads. And now you have the map, then feel free to check it out. And did I tell you everything? Let me think. I told you about my route, what to keep in mind, how to put your settings, uh, the perks that you need. Oh, one more thing as well. I do not recommend using explosive weapons. Uh, magazines and bobbleheads can fly away. The same rule like for farming salt applied in here as well. Uh, melee is fine, non-explosive weapons are fine. You don't want to toss them away too far unless you really cannot find it and you are getting angry mode and start tossing grenades hoping that you will kick this magazine out from under the rug. Uh, sometimes, oh, I didn't tell you that. Uh, I will not find example now, but sometimes you can hear the sound and let's say it will be dirt like in here and you just need to go over aiming at everything and at some point you will see that there is like a corner of magazine and the cursor will change and it will allow you pick it up it can happen those magazines are sometimes sinking into the ground i don't know why but that that's actually a bug most likely than intended future and yes now i think that's everything if you have any questions please feel free to go into comment section. I will try to answer them and help you out. And definitely after you try, do your run, spend some time searching for this stuff. Let me know how you like it. I really like it for whatever reason. I'm enjoying finding those different magazines, bobbleheads, even, even the ones that I don't particularly need. It's satisfying for me that I can find them and farm them and they light now. Therefore I can keep stockpiling them. As you know, I'm the hoarder and I like to talk too much as well. All right, <laughs> I, I'm done. I hope this guide will be helpful for you. And as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.